At least 18 people are confirmed to have died in Japan and a dozen more are missing after one of the most powerful storms there in decades. Typhoon Hagibis has now moved back into the Pacific after bringing record amounts of rainfall to large areas of the country. Rivers are swollen and homes have been buried under landslides. The Japanese government has deployed tens of thousands of soldiers to try to help the rescue effort. From Tokyo, our correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes. This is the town of Chikuma in the Japanese Alps, much of it now underwater. Last night the levees here burst and the brown floodwaters came rushing in. This town is far from the coast. People here were not expecting anything like this and many had not heeded warnings to evacuate. This morning they took to their roofs and balconies as military helicopters hovered overhead. It has been a race against time to get them out as floodwaters threatened to sweep away some of the homes. Nearby, a row of shiny bullet trains stand stranded amid the floodwaters. Tens of millions of dollars in damage here alone. In Tokyo this morning, people came to look in amazement at the swollen rivers. Here the flood defences have mostly held, but not everyone has escaped. One man died on the ground floor of this building as a nearby river spilled over its banks. The water came up higher than my head in the house. It turned over all the furniture inside. It's like a washing machine now. I can't go back home because the doors are blocked by furniture and other objects are washed away by the water inside. Yesterday, already by 8 or 9 o'clock, the river was overflowing and the water rose above the level of the door. The scale of this storm has been astonishing. The area affected stretches for more than a thousand kilometres, the same distance as Cornwall to Edinburgh. Typhoon Hagibis has now gone and the rivers are starting to drop. The Japanese Grand Prix is going ahead and for rugby fans there is more good news. The World Cup match between Scotland and Japan will now be played tonight as originally planned. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Tokyo.